What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid. Today, we're going to go over a little method of mine on how to make a ton of MT when new content drops. You guys probably already know it if you're a real fan, but we're going to go over it again because I make all my MT off it. As you can see, my MT is pretty high. It's not that high, but I would say it's pretty freaking valid. So before we get into the video, 10K in the comments, like the vid and sub if you are new for a chance at winning 10K MT. So alrighty, let's get into it. So my method is very simple. Um, let's see. So pretty much what you got to do is look at when packs expire. As you can see, tomorrow, new content will be dropping. And why do I say this? Because two packs are gone. So tomorrow, new content is 110% dropping. So you guys have to get ready. You guys have to make a ton of MT. And this is how exactly I do it. So new content drops about every Friday or every Tuesday. So what you do is pretty much you go to your collection and any players you have sellable, like any players, like any Amethyst, like Giannis or Curry, you go ahead and sell. I'm going to show you why. Um, I have video proof of all this. You guys can go check out my old videos. So now let's go over to Giannis. I just want to go over Giannis because Giannis is so expensive. He's at 70K. Um, the other day he was at 50K, 45K. So now he's at 70K. Why is he at 70K? Because when packs first come out, the market crashes. That is when you buy most of your cards. So... For instance, um, market market crash is bad. So what happens is when the market crashes, you pretty much just pick up as many players as possible and just wait like two to three days and sell them. That's what I've been doing. I've been making a ton of MT off of it. I don't really snipe that much. All I really do, like honestly, I'm going to be honest, I played, I haven't really played 2K this week. I literally have been working every day. I'm absolutely shot. I'm so shot, but like it's okay. Um, we got this all-time domination done. What I do is I pretty much during a market crash, I buy all my players, I stick them in my lineup, I go to single player dom or anything, single player challenges, and I just play those, I rep those, and I just chill out, bro. It's very easy. You don't have to sit there on the auction for hours. Like I mean literally, right when you go on the auction and you refresh, you'll see a ton of players there. It's so simple, it's so easy, and I just really recommend it. So who I who do I like to see like on the market crash? Usually I look for um, NBA 20 current day players. Usually it works the best on Curry. Oh my god, Giannis, um, Curry, Giannis. It's like pretty much just Curry, Giannis, and other players. Um, but let's go over it. So if you guys don't know my video, if you have never watched my market crash videos or any of that. You just go look at them. They help a lot. A lot of people made MT off them. So this is what I'm going to tell you. So I remember all these prices. When those packs came out, what was it, Friday? I remember I was online. I was chilling. And my Giannis, I bought two Giannis's for 45 to 50K. And I flipped them for 67K. If you think about that profit margin and you think about how easy it is to do that it's like wow he made that much mt i did nothing it was a joke i literally did absolutely nothing to make that much mt i pretty much clicked two buttons and not only that it's like when the market crashes you need to make sure that they hit that bottom threshold like let's say Giannis right now hits 60k um let's say they drop packs right now let's say Giannis hits 60k you have to wait you cannot buy my 60k i don't know why but you'll see, you'll see like a price where you'll be certain. Like I saw Curry at 30K twice. I bought both of them. Now he's at like 48, 50. So like you need to know when their bottom price is. Um, also, I saw Anthony Davis at like 35K. Now he's like 50, 60. So like if you see Giannis, let's say you're on the market. Let's say the packs drop at 12. You're on the market at 1130. You see Giannis at like 68 or 65 and then the pack shop you see him at 65 59 you have to wait you have to wait for that one car it could take like i literally am not even kidding i got all my cars within the first like 15 minutes i would say in the first 30 minutes i got all my cars maybe even the first 20 minutes i got every single card from the auction for so cheap and i was like wow i wonder if they're gonna go up they all went up like 10 to 20k so 
It's so easy, bro. Let's look at curry. I sold my curries for 48. I got all of them for 30. I got three curries for 30. And it was crazy. It was like a six night. So let's see. Curry, bro. If we get curry for 30, I use them a couple games. The online glitch is still working, bro. We're gonna have a video on that later. I don't understand how 2K is literally. Uh, I, I can't play online. It's so bad. I've never seen anything like it. I literally can't play online. Is that fair? I don't know, dude. I can't play online. It's crazy. Curry went up so much. I regret selling him at 47. All the amethysts right now are so expensive. Bro, I got them for 30. I got three of them for 30k. I sold them for 47. I could have sold them for 55, bro. I could have made an extra, what, 47, 50. I could have made an extra 8k MT. I botched. I botched so hard. I regret everything, bro. But you know what? What do you got to, like, I got nothing to say. Like, I guess that's just a big boy L, I guess. So, Curry. 55k when the market crashes you're gonna see him at 35 30 you just gotta wait be patient unless they drop some crazy content that destroys the auction forever which i highly doubt is possible but they could drop some really really good packs so if you guys are watching this i would just go ahead and say sell cards now that's it um everybody is so expensive i've never seen anybody this expensive it's crazy so go ahead, sell your cards now. New packs are dropping tomorrow. Guaranteed. Peep, peep this, dude. 23 hours. It's like 23 hours literally tomorrow at, what is it, 11 or 10? New content's dropping. What is it going to be? Well, for, for sure, they're going to drop a, a Spotlight series. And honestly, they might even drop a Prime. I don't know. We'll see. Because they have mystery players in the Prime. In the Spotlight, I'm pretty sure they have mystery players, so... They gotta drop something cool. Legacy Showcase expires on like a Tuesday. So they're gonna have a lot of new content this week for sure. They can't not drop something on a Friday. They always do. Every week they drop something on a Friday. So let's see. Hopefully big market crash. Hopefully I can get a ton of snipes. I'm just praying, man. So alrighty. Next up. Will you be all bugs? Who else did you snipe? I sniped Hardens for 25 now his price is probably like 34 but i picked up like four of them and i made a, a, a decent amount of mt and like yeah it's not that much mt but you have to realize that it definitely adds up if you're like oh my god james Harden's actually that expensive now what's going on dude everything's so expensive now it's crazy this might be the time to snipe just because i feel like cards are so high he's at 39k holy crap so i got Three of my Hardens for 26k or two of my Hardens for 26k. He's at 39k. So like pretty much the method here is if a market crash happens, sell all cards on Monday and then the market crashes again on Tuesday. Bro, it's the money making method. It's how you make your MT simple, fast. And not only that, it's great because you could use these cards on your team. You could take my advice. You don't have to take my advice. Just look at my videos, bro. I have proof of everything, bro. I have the aftermath of the market crash. I have market talk to I have all those. That's where I make all my MT. It's just going over the market. It's just great, bro. Also, if you not check out my evolve, you could evolve players so easy, bro. If you see Stefan Marbury, Ruby with a lot of contracts used, bro, you could pick him up and he could have like halfway stats to Amethyst. I'm just letting you guys know. I don't know if you knew that, but if you didn't, bro, you could pick up a Stefan Marbury or any uh, evolution card and pick them up with a ton of stats on them already. So just letting you know, you can make a ton of MT that way as well. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for supporting me. We're going to have two videos today. We're going to have two videos the next day. We got Thursday Night Football on today. I'm kind of hyped for that. I got Robert Woods in my fantasy team. But yeah, guys, I'm hyped for two. I'm hyped for NBA season. I don't know if you guys are, but yeah, I'm hyped for NBA season, man. So guys. You guys would drop a like, comment if you comment, so if you're new, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, that's really all I got, man. Um, simple. If you got any questions, anything, just hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, it's pretty much it. Um, try, try to get Paul Pierce, bro. Try to get Paul Pierce before um, this content goes away. It's dropping. It's going away tomorrow. So if you could pick up a Paul Pierce for around fifty something k. That's a dub. Oh, 50K. Whoa, that I think that's a snipe. 48K? Dude, these packs are gone. I might pick up a ton of them. These packs are gone, so I'll be picking up a couple. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.